Determining the debt payments to income ratio. Louise McIntyre's monthly income is $2,700. That's her gross income. Her employer withholds $540 in federal, state, and local taxes and $216 in Social Security taxes per month. Louise contributes $108 per month to her IRA. Her monthly credit card payments for Visa, MasterCard, and Discover Card are $39, $31, and $21 respectively. Her monthly payment on a car loan is $299. So the first thing we're going to ask is what is Louise's debt payments to income ratio? And the first thing we have to do is figure take home pay. So take home pay is going to be her gross income of twenty seven hundred minus her income taxes of five forty, minus her social security tax of two sixteen, and minus her IRA contribution of one hundred eight to make her net take home pay eighteen thirty six. And next, we're going to take that $1,836 and we're going to divide it uh, into or divide that number uh, by her amount of, of uh, credit card debt. So her monthly payments on Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and her car loan added to $394 per month. So Louise's payments, debt payments to income ratio would be $394 divided by $1,836, which is her net take-home pay, or that comes out to be 21.46%. And the rule of thumb is that that should never exceed, this rate, this percentage should never exceed 20%. So the maximum monthly loan and credit card payment should never be over $367. So uh, that come, that's the 20% uh, of this 1836 figure. So she is... Uh, is she living within her means? And the answer based on this information would be no.